This is a venous stasis ulceration that we've worked on for some time to make it clean. It's in the lower leg, anterior aspect, medial and lateral aspect. It's quite shallow now. It's granulating in just fine. We've treated the infection. We've identified truncal venous insufficiency at the saphenofemoral junction and treated it with endovenous ablation. And now we have identified some perforator veins that are of the Boyd's area right here that we'll show you on Doppler ultrasound. We have all the measurements and the refluxes. We're not going to repeat that, but we will show you what we're going to close. I'm just going to cover this up with a towel. It's all sterile anyways. And we're going to localize this Boyd's perforator, which is measured from below the medial epicondyl of the femur. This is the knee, this is the leg obviously, and on the monitor there you can see the perforator vein. If I can show it to you, it's this originating here, going up. You see that serpig serpiginous thing, so we're going to obliterate this perforator vein. Take the needle, we're going to go get access into this vein. You can see the needle go in on that. You can go over there and get close to it if you want me to get a better picture. But you can see blood coming back in this needle here. So we're gonna put the EVLT laser catheter which is at a predetermined distance. You can see how small it is in here into this perforator vein and now we're going to put some anesthetic around it and you can see on the screen this anesthetic going in you can focus in on that with the top button that white dot is the tip of the laser and the second white dot is the, the needle putting in the tumescent anesthesia you see that black area is getting bigger, it's all the anesthetic. So more anesthetic, please. And then we'll zap that in a minute. So this is a Boyd's perforator vein. We're treating it for a venous stasis ulceration and perforator venous insufficiency in a gentleman who interestingly has had this ulcer for some time. Needless to say, having shown you the ulcer, but we've come a long way with it. There's a whole lot of debate as to when you treat these perforator uh, reflux, and at this year's current uh, American College of Phlebology meeting, there's a debate going on as to whether you fix it before or after, but the consensus in better than 99% of uh, board certified phlebologist is that you treat it before so that you help the ulcer heal. So we're going to zap it now. If you feel any heat or burning, sir, let us know. Feel anything? No. Those are the pulses of the EVLT laser. Yeah. Feel anything? No. Two more. Good. So now you can color flow. You don't see any color flow in it. Go ahead, take a picture. Okay, that confirms it. Now we're going to take this out. And you can see the laser tip. See that? Okay, we're done. I have a couple of more to close in that area, but we can terminate that.